Hey everyone, welcome back. In this particular video, I'm going to cover another career related question which is asked by one of the subscribers on the YouTube channel. So recently I've started this career related question and answer series wherein I'll be answering all your career related question, anything related to career, certification, your progression in the company, existing company or switching to a new company. All of those career related question, anything that you have, you want to ask, get my viewpoints on it. You, you are free to go ahead and comment on any of the YouTube videos or connect with me on LinkedIn and then ask in the messages of the LinkedIn. There are other social media accounts as well, email as well. So you can choose any of the options, but most probably uh, YouTube comments and LinkedIn messages will be the best one wherein I'll be picking, you know, a lot of questions because there are too many questions and to filter out and get the most recent one is the priority. So I'll try to answer everyone's question, but it will be in the sequence and series of how they are being asked. So this particular question is from a person who is three, who has three years of experience in manual testing experience, having a gap since last six to seven months, right? So basically uh, this person was employed into testing field, but they might have lost job or had a gap of six to seven months. Now they are unable to find job, don't have idea what to do next, worried about gap and job, kindly guide me. All right. Now, first and foremost thing in this sort of situation wherein you do not have job or you have lost job because three years you have started your career, you are not fresher anymore. You are, you have some experience already into the software testing field. Now, the only thing nowadays which becomes really challenging mostly you know uh, nowadays there should be some sort of automation tool add-on into your resume as well now if you, you you can't completely go ahead and say i'm a manual tester now there is no manual and automation as such it's just a segregation based on how you execute the script but somehow this tagging has been done in 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 the role which is wrong i mean testing is testing there is nothing manual or automation tester as such it's testing it could be manual when you are testing something or you're executing script without the help of the automation tool that's that's where manual test execution and then if automation test tool is involved then automation test execution so don't uh, first thing is I, I would recommend stop tagging yourself as a manual tester and automation tester that's the first mindset change i would advise to you whosoever has asked this particular question i'm not going to disclose anyone's identity here uh, in this particular series so that's that's the idea now these are the public comment comments anyways but still i'll try not to reveal any of the personal information of, of the person who has asked this particular question so first thing is the mindset change now three years of experience in testing is very good experience i won't say that you are a fresher so first and foremost thing since you have you have a gap of this six to seven months what exactly you have done in this six to seven months might be a game changer, right? I mean, six months is such a long time wherein if you go ahead and spend time doing courses around automation. So for example, you, you picked some UI tool, UI automation tool and API automation tool. If you haven't done it till now, this is the time go ahead and start building those skills and stop mentioning yourself as a manual and automation tester. You start learning those tools and start preparing projects basically so if you learn any ui automation tool and you pick any random live website and start automating based on the learning you start writing the automation script design your framework based on the learning that you get from the courses and there are a lot of automation testing courses so i would recommend playwright with typescript or javascript pick that it is pretty a uh, recent very nice tool for UI automation also have API cap automation capabilities but choose it for the UI automation and start doing some automation project wherein you pick any random uh, website and write some of the test cases because you are already 
into the industry for three years you know testing so you write some of the test cases that are relevant to that particular website and then automate those into the frame using the framework that you develop with playwright javascript or typescript right so when you do the courses the courses will give you a broad understanding of how to design or, or what exactly playwright is and how to design the framework etc so there is a playwright uh, series that i already started it hasn't uh, gone to the advanced level yet but you can go ahead and watch that start watching that learning from that series as well so that's the first thing learn one of the ui automation tool playwright is recent one i would recommend that then the next thing is learning the api automation tool or api testing tool postman is easy one okay or karate uh, framework you can you can uh, take any of that postman is very popular not saying straight away go into the api automation but at least learn uh, some of the dummy api how you send the request response chaining of the api so some of those details will really help you so start with that and eventually go ahead and because you are learning playwright with javascript that will also help in the postman because you will use that javascript into writing the automation scripts within postman for automating those apis as well so these two tools will remove that tagging that you have done to yourself that you are a manual test and you can't go ahead and switch to the automation so i'm pretty sure six within six months you will master these tools and once you master this along with that CI, uh, learn the concept of ci cd pipeline okay and git fundamentals so basically you know when you'll write your code do not store it locally make sure you learn the git life cycle and have your github account free account and then learn that life cycle of checking in the code and all of that right so these couple of things will make a lot of difference to you as a tester within the industry doesn't matter you have six to seven months gap still if you haven't got the job you you have the gap it really doesn't matter if you have the right set of tools and skills on your profile no one bothers about what gap you have right so you can justify gap with lot of factors i mean there there could be lot of factors where people take breaks right people take a break for the family responsibility so if somebody say for example asks about why this particular gap you can mention the gap the, the reason for the gap right i mean you were learning something you had family responsibilities to look for you had something to look for and that's why you took the break from the role and you were learning during this particular time and you have built this much portfolio you have learned this much and you can add this particular value you can bring this value to the company and organization right so justifying gap is not a problem do not keep that particular gap and manual testing tag in your mind that it could be a problem it's not at all a problem nobody in the industry looks gap as a problem if you have the right attitude set of skills um, uh, skill set right attitude technical capabilities the gap is absolutely irrelevant and i'm pretty sure once you learn these particular tools and enhance your resume and profile you will see a lot of difference in your confidence and when you approach the interviews you will see that you will be absolutely fantastic and fine in clearing any of the testing related interviews in terms of jobs i'm pretty sure that there are still lot of opportunities available in last one to two months i have interviewed at least 20 plus candidates for the organization and and when when you do interviews you find that the skills that i have mentioned even these skills are not available with many of the people right so if you learn these basics of uh, playwright and postman and uh, git and github life, life cycle you are already kind of uh, 75% ahead of other candidates right so you will get that opportunity of getting to the technical round and once you are in the technical round this is the real work that people will be seeing in the organization so once you have the real work experience you can showcase your projects that you have done in this gap 
uh, while fulfilling the responsibilities, the family responsibilities or any other responsibilities because of which you took the gap, then that's the only thing that will matter and you will definitely go ahead and crack the interview and get the job. So do not bother, only focus on your learning skills, gap or your manual testing experience, do not tag yourself. It's absolutely fine, happens with everyone in the industry at some point of time in the career. So make sure you be positive and keep learning and then apply and get into the industry with a really good skill set. All right. So that's all. I hope all the points that I have mentioned uh, will be helpful. So thank you. And I'll see you all into the next video with a new career related question. Thank you. See you in the next one.